Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Girl with the Scalpel. This is Dr. Mehek. I am here to help you out to fulfill your dream to become a dentist in the United States of America. And today is a very special video on a slightly different topic. And that is how to choose a perfect AEGD program. I have already done a series of states where you can practice after choosing for a residency program you can just have a look at it the link would be somewhere above flashing and will be down in the description box and in today's video we'll be discussing about the perfect AEGD program so before diving in into today's video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel click on the bell icon so you get an update whenever i upload a video so guys regarding the perfect AEGD program so let me make one thing clear that this the details in this video would be totally based upon my research to know further anything you need to visit the website of the schools which i would mention you should do your own research and the best possible search engine which is present right now on the internet is the adia pass website they have everything there just need to go there look up and you're good to go and apply right so why i have written a 24 month program so guys what happens is in many of the states except for virginia which allows you to practice as a dentist post a 12 month program most of the states require an aegd program i am not saying all the states a few states that is mostly 12 or 13 states are there which allow you post after doing your residency a residency could be either aegd a gpr or a specialty certificate if you want to know what is the difference there would be link above you can check that out through the link or will be down there in the description box to know the difference between them today we will be talking about the aegd program or the advanced education in general dentistry program 24 months in my opinion and i would suggest everyone if at all you're thinking about settling down in the united states depending upon your state of preference if your state allows you to have an aegd and they will give you a license you should choose a program of at least 24 months in some institutions and schools it can even extend to three years but today we'll be talking mostly about institutions which at least provide 24 months you need to do a 24 months of aegd in these schools and mind you guys these programs about which i'll be talking about these actually have a tuition tuitions which you need to you know give from your pocket or if you want to take up a, a loan you need to have a co-signer many a times it becomes uh, more of a hassle as to decide how to pay them because more, many a times many of the colleagues on my dentist fellow fellows won't be having that kind of money and if you have that in your pocket that's the best thing and if you don't have it they have a tuition but their tuition is not as that large as compared to the dds programs guys dds programs and the advanced standing programs the tuition can go up to 100 or 120k per year and that's quite a lot and these mostly start from 25 26 000 usds and can even go up to 50 that's per year right so let's dive in and let's let us know which is the first institution so it is the university of rochester eastman institute of oral health so guys it's a very popular program why because it allows a foreign trained dentist to get into the school you know uh, be learn and get into the dietetics and you know uh, practice as a dentist in united states and it is currently present in the state of new york you can go to the school if at all you manage to and why am i saying that because these programs aegds they are very limited today i'll be discussing a few schools only which are actually open to international students and international or foreign trained dentists so it becomes a lot more competitive right the second thing which i would like to highlight here is your visa status guys if you do not have a, a visa status or a proper visa for example if you have a b1 and b2 there 
is a possibility that your visa would be converted into another form but again you need to contact the schools and you need to ask them whether they would help you out with it by giving you a sponsorship or whether they can sponsor you from your home country or whether if you already have an f1 you were already a student in any other program they will accept you and also it is depending upon many of the foreign trained dentists who are residents of canada many of the programs actually accept who have a pr or they are citizens of canada they are also enrolled in these programs so depend depending on the visa status you actually need to contact the school via email uh, the address to the on the link to the websites of these schools will be down in the description box you can click them you can directly contact them with your at their help desk and it would be a lot more easier for you so let's talk about the university of rochester eastman institute of health so basically this program length it is a minimum of 24 months and it can extend up to 36 months that's how i said it's 2 years minimum but can go up to 3 years as well now apart from the aegd certificate what all certificates can you get so basically an advanced certificate is awarded upon completion of an aegd program and the additional degrees which these institutions can offer and many a times many dentists actually pursue that further and that is uh, the msd that is the masters of science in dental sciences the other graduate level degrees such as ms in health professional education and mba and a masters of public health is actually a very good option to pursue your career further okay now the good news here is the estimated positions that, that are accepted per year is 19 but mind you guys these 19 positions are not entirely for uh, the foreign trained dentists okay so here's a slight catch here for the institution or the university of rochester there are two programs they have uh, a separate uh, program number and uh, you have to separately apply if you are somebody who is foreign trained so today i'm talking about only for the foreign trained dentists so this 19 number is they would choose 19 of the foreign trained dentists you can be from south east asian countries you can be from middle east and you can even be from canada and you can get through into this so that's a good news the number is big enough that is 19 then coming on to some other program requirements that is it is basically two or three year program something or about the overview of the institution that you the residents would be working in the specialty such as the prosthodontics periodontics operative cosmetic dentistry implantology oral surgery endodontics orthodontics and even some research work as well also the other prerequisites or the requirements and the good news here is that uh, they actually accept students who are not trained in the us and canadian dental school and they do not require a license before joining the course they actually provide you an aegd and an opportunity to enroll into ms or an msd other prerequisites are the toefl that is the language program which you need to take this is more of like an english testing agency which provide you certain scores then you need to have a wes so it's world education service basically it is the evaluation of your credentials from the transcripts that you get from your home country there are two types of uh, institutions which actually work that is the wes as well as the ece now guys ece is more popular because uh, mostly 70 to 80% of the institutions actually accept an ECE there are quite a few who accept the best and Eastman Rochester is one of them that again as i told you earlier it's a tuition based program so according to the atia pass website it is a, almost around uh, $26000 it can vary depending upon which year are you enrolling and you need to contact the university yourself to know the details about the fee then there are certain other fees like the annual program and technology fee also guys they do not offer a stipend not so since i'm talking about the program which is especially for the foreign trained ones so you won't be provided any stipend uh, there is another program which is for those who are already pr in us they are foreign trained and they are pr in us or citizens of the us you guys need to enroll for the other 
program you need to see the program code in the adia pass website you will be provided a stipend so for those who are already a us citizen or they are already us green card holder they would be provided the stipend so that's a good news for them okay now coming on to the other prerequisites and the requirements which are there the other requirements actually they need an unofficial transcript no official transcripts again a good news then you need to have uh, an an excellent cv i would say why excellent because it's a very competitive program they would choose the cream they would choose people whose overall profile is very good it's not just the academics you might be great in your academics you but you might not be good in your extracurricular so extracurricular involves you can be ha- might be having many certificates in your sports or you might be into a lot of voluntary work my suggestion would be get yourself some voluntary work done you know better for the society as well help them out then you can go for you need to have attended certain dental camps or any of the voluntary work that is organized by a dental school or if at all you can manage to get in then you need to have a dental shadowing that's a very good thing uh, and especially the rotations done here in the united states would be quite beneficial then you need to have publications you can always contact back your professors from your dental school and to ask them to help you out to perform certain studies by which you can you know go in for your publications and if at all you are already a clinician you have already done your masters and if at all you having patients and you can perform a study go for it you can go in for review papers you can even go in for case reports the these actually count guys and uh, other than that you can have certain supplemental certifications as well uh, with you which can be you can go in for a masters of health administration or maybe masters of public health these degrees to actually boost your cv and also make you financially stable okay then inbde giving an inbde is not a sole requirement here for this program but they might ask ask you post your interview or during the time of your interview so i would suggest you to give your inbdes that's a must then coming on to this this is a screenshot or snapshot from the adia pass website that that they're talking about so the prerequisites here is they actually do accept the foreign citizens and they do accept the canadian and the us citizens as well but the program is separate then you need to give your toefl you need to have your toefl scores then inbd not at the time of your interview but maybe after that they might require it so here we are not they have not clearly mentioned about the sponsorship whether they'll sponsor you whether they'll not sponsor you but they accept foreign train so you need to ask in details whether they'll help you convert your visas and help you sponsor so that's something which you need to look forward to okay then coming on to the next inst- next institution that is this the university of florida again this program is especially designed for those who are internationally trained dentists again the visa status is not quite clear you need to contact the school yourself you need to email them you need to ask them whether you are eligible and then you can apply for this this program length is again of 24 months and these actually provide you an aegd there is nothing like maybe they can provide you certain uh, advanced courses no it's not there then the current position or the estimated number of positions available is 12 it's lesser than the rochester university so you need to have a look at it but here a good thing is if at all you do not manage to get into an aegd what you can do is you can work as an extern do an observership because they do provide you one to two weeks of a voluntary primary observership and that will actually boost your cv what happens is when you go for an observership you get an insight to the north american culture you can follow up with the patients then you get to meet the the professors and the doctors who are working there you can have a rapport with them you can ask them questions and they might help you out in one way or the other or might give you certain suggestions as to what you should do or how should you pursue your career as a foreign trained so that's a very good opportunity you must have a look at it then certain program requirements are they do require inbdes since 
एंड बी डी पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू पार्ट टू वन इज ऑलरेडी डिसकन्टिन्यूड पार्ट टू वुड बी डिसकन्टिन्यूड इन अ फ्यू मंथ्स सो यूल बी लेफ आई एंड बी डी ई एंड आई थिंक दैट इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम अगेन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द ट्यूशन और नो ट्यूशन यू नीड टू कॉन्टैक्ट दिस प्रोग्राम डायरेक्टली बट मोस्टली दीज स्कूल डू रिक्वायर अ ट्यूशन एंड दे डू नॉट ऑफर स्टाइप इन दिस वेल Again, from the snapshot, it is clear that they actually accept the international trained dentist. So again, it's a win-win situation here. Then coming on to the next school, that is the Saint Vincent Charity Medical Center, and this is located in Ohio State. Again, a state where you can practice after your AGD. So that's a good news. Now, talking here, I would mostly be talking about what is the primary requirement here. So the primary requirement here is that they do ask for a bench test. So bench test is somewhat like a re- like a program where you need to perform certain clinicals and you need to have maybe a cavity preparation of class 2 maybe some crown cutting. They'll ask you you need to provide uh, uh, you sorry you need to appear for the bench test and then if you clear that then you might enter into the interview again it's a tuition based program the tuition can vary from every year you need to contact the school directly uh it clearly mentions that you the foreign trained dentists are accepted so it you might stand a chance and also the good thing here is the immigration status that is they've given that you can be a us citizen green card holder or a temporary protection status so again i am seeing here a slight you know advantage that they might help you or may might even sponsor you you need to contact the university and the good news here is you are accepted here also for this program you do not require inbde initially after the interview they might ask you again talking about toefl you will need toefl apart from that it is highly recommended to ha- that you have given your toefl it will actually raise your profile if you are applying to the school post that you need your letters of intent like more of like an sop some reference letters then you need to have an ece so ece has to be done it is by the ece not by the wes and then you need some official transcripts from a universities then inbde is highly recommended but not mandatory toefl highly recommended but not mandatory they have clearly written on their website right so again regarding the further details of the program you need to contact the programs directly ask the questions what all doubts do you have and you're good to go right so this brings me to the end of today's video i hope you like it and the content that i'm posting you can have a one on one conversation with me on instagram you can follow me on my instagram handle girl with the scalpel you can email me with your queries i'll be happy to help so i hope you like today's video and further i'll be making and creating videos regarding the same as to how you can choose the schools and guys do have a look at adia pass website they have an excellent search engine you need to visit each and every school and then decide which programs you want to choose and which programs you do not fit in because you know guys as a foreign trained dentist with certain issues with visa status as well you know your chances become very bleak right so at the end i would like to say believe you can and you are halfway there and i actually mean it and what i see here is believe can and there So guys keep studying keep mo- being motivated motivate your friends spread love until the next time bye bye for today